everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today as you can, I think you should be able to tell from the title, I'm not too sure what I'm titling this, but hopefully what I've titled it will be a good description of what this video is. But basically, I thought I would just do a bit of a random collective haul of things that I've bought recently because whenever my friends go out shopping or they do an order or something, I'm always like, give me a haul, like I wanna see what you've got. I love seeing what people buy. And I obviously show you what I buy if I do like a H&M order or a Zara order, but those little bits and bobs that I buy like when I'm out shopping or like, you'll see as the video goes on, like you know those little random bits so you just buy like, there's not enough from one place to make it a haul, but I still kind of want to show you sort of thing. So I thought today we'd sit down, I'd gather together all the random crap that I bought recently, and I call it crap even though it's not crap, some of it's absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, I thought I'd just gather it all together and we're going to do a haul. And it's going to be like, hopefully, like you're on FaceTime with your friend and they're showing you what they bought when they went to Westf Westfield, when they went to Westfield on Saturday or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, we're going for that kind of vibe today. So without me blabbering on anymore, I will pop my Instagram and my TikTok down below it's also on screen here i'm pretty sure my username for tiktok is the same as my instagram but it'll all be down below so make sure you follow me over there um i'll link down below what i can if there are like you know i'll link what i can we're just gonna get on with the haul okay we're gonna start with this purely because i was gonna wear this for the video um because i felt like it was very appropriate for multiple reasons however i put this top on to film a h&m haul a minute ago and it's taken like so much makeup off and i just feel like if i take it off it's gonna take even more makeup off with it and it's gonna mess my hair up so i decided we were just gonna stick with this outfit for this video as well but i was gonna wear this top um because one it's random it's got a shopping trolley on it so i thought that was appropriate with the kind of random haul and it also says retail therapy on it again i thought it was appropriate with the fact that i bought all this stuff um so this i bought recently it's from kiwi and Kai. i'm absolutely obsessed with it it's giving me like sisters and seekers vibes which we all know i love i love t-shirt dresses with random things on and this fits the bill this i got in a medium and it's like a nice oversized baggy fit the color is like a creamy color they call it cannoli cream which i absolutely love because i love cannolis so it just makes me love it even more and then it just has like green detail on it that says retail therapy ties in with the green of the shopping trolley which i absolutely love and then i did buy these to go with it um which are some shorts from adidas because this is a little bit too short to wear as a t-shirt dress um so i wanted to get cycling shorts like if i have to wear shorts with a t-shirt like because it's too short to be worn as a t-shirt dress i want the shorts to be the same color as the t-shirt um so that they're not very noticeable and these are such a good match these are what um kiwi and co like wore for their photo shoot and i messaged them and asked them um where the shorts are from and they said they were from adidas and they're these ones i got these in a size small which is an eight to ten because i didn't want them to be too tight and i wish i got them in the smaller size because they are a little bit baggy but like it's not an issue but do you know what i mean and they're just these like cream cycling shorts which like i said go so perfectly like look at the color match on that i'm absolutely obsessed with it so basically you can't really tell i'm wearing the shorts with them which is like what i absolutely love and normally it's so hard to find cycling shorts to match a t-shirt dress unless they're solid black or solid white obviously but this is perfect and i'm obsessed with them so that is what i was gonna wear but I just didn't want to risk taking this top off. So there we go. Next up, I'm going to go with this. And this is a little bit outdated um, in the fact that this is some Easter things. And I know that Easter has been and gone. Um, I, yeah, where am I going with this? I thought I'd show you them anyway, basically, because I just really like them. They're something I've bought recently. I got this, okay? This is a little cake stand with a little bunny on it. And this is from Poundland. I was literally shocked. This cost me £3. And I've seen, like, loads of bunny based cake stands around easter time they were like 30 40 pound yeah they were a little bit bigger than this one but i don't mind this little small size i think it's super cute very weird pose the bunny is in okay like he's lying down like this i'm thinking we could have had a slightly better pose of like the bunny doing this or like i don't know even the cake stand resting on the bunny's head i feel like this is a slightly bizarre pose but i thought it was so cute and it's like a white base with gray speckles on it so me i'm thinking this at easter time little hot crust bun stacked on top of it or something gonna have to wait a whole like year now i mean easter was quite late this year so it might be earlier next year so i might not have to wait like a solid 12 months but yeah this is gonna go into storage until next easter but to be fair you could definitely use this all year round especially if you're an avid bunny fan 
you could definitely make that work. And then I also got this, which again was from Poundland. It's like a little matching dish in the shape of an egg. How cute is this? And it's again got the grey speckles and this is like £1.50. I'm obsessed with these. So random, but like so me and I just love them. Talking of random, next up I got these. I was in an RM whether to feature these in the haul because I just thought like that is so random. But like I thought some people might be interested in these. These are Dunkaroo cereal that I got from B&M. Like I did not go to America or Australia to buy these. I literally got these in B&M. Yes, they were like £3.99, but I I could not resist and i've always had an obsession with like american or like foreign food going to a supermarket on holiday is one of my favorite things to do um and now that you can get things like this in b&m like literally just down the road i think it's fantastic um and i saw these on an instagram someone were like these are new in in b&m and i was like i'm going straight to b&m and i thought some people might be the same so i thought if i showed them the haul some people might appreciate that but look at these dunkaroo cereal obsessed then i don't know where to go with next i'm gonna go with these next i got a couple of pairs of sliders from ego so first First up, I got these ones, which are like a brown, like chocolatey brown like pillow slider. Um, they have like a Velcro, well, that's some really, some really strong Velcro there. Um, yeah, they're like a kind of cushion pillow slider. They remind, like, they're meant to be dupes of the Louis Vuitton ones, I think. Um, but they're just super comfy, and I really like them. So I got those, and then I also got these ones, which are like a green toweling slider. These I did get in a size 5, and I've now realised, wearing them a little bit, they're actually a little bit small, and I'm a size 4. So you might want to size up with these. But I got these to go with this bag that I got from Vinted. I think this originally does it have any tags in it it doesn't have any tags in it but i think this originally was from public desire um but these obviously match this is like a green toweling clutch and i got these together because i thought that'd be like why is the lighting just gone so overexposed and i don't know i thought it'd be a cool outfit together i don't know why this lighting like i said is so overexposed and it's really getting on my nerves like why has that just happened next up we have a jug this is like really suiting the color scheme today with the vase the um throw here and my trousers it's really fitting in with the gray theme um but i popped into tk no it was actually home sense i was in um and i saw this and i love a little bit of le creuset and i love the color of this like this is such a nice gray color so me and this was 14.99 instead of 39 pound which i thought was such a good price this i got in the home sense near lakeside in like the retail park near lakeside if anyone's interested and they did have quite a few in there um and they also had like loads of like le creuset they had like loads of le creuset like um castle not castle dishes like um like like a tray dish kind of thing they had loads in there and i just absolutely loved this and i thought like this would work really well as a vase or just a, obviously like a jug for water or something don't really have much of a use for this now but once i've moved out this is going to be like i can have this on display as well as it being practical if you know what i mean and then i remembered when i got home i remembered that i got this which is obviously kind of along the similar lines but i forgot that i got it when i got the jug but i don't regret it because i i love this jug um, and this is just like a carafe thing i hate that word but that is what it is a carafe this I actually got from pretty little thing homeware section um and i just really liked it it's so random it's just this glass craft again you could use this as a vase but it says farm fresh on it and it's got like a little cockerel or something i don't know how well you can see that but i thought to use this to like have milk in or orange juice like for a nice brunch or something like i'm very much that type of person that likes to have the table looking nice if you're having a nice like sunday brunch or something so like this will come in so handy for me and this is literally like four pound i think so i don't really mind like it's cheap and stuff so two random jugs when i don't live in my own home i still live with my parents so these will be stored under the bed until i have moved out and there is a use for them josh is honestly so lucky like once we move out i'm probably gonna have everything for the house already before we've even moved out so like he's not gonna have to buy anything like i've got the jugs and crafts already okay a couple of weeks back i did like an instagram story ad with karma um and they sent me like this really cool pr box it came in like i put it like away for storage for like easter decorations but it came in like a big like yellow um like egg shaped box and then inside were these metal eggs there was four of them and then the eggs you could open and then inside those eggs were different items and i thought i'd show you them because you haven't seen them on youtube and if you don't follow me over on, if you don't follow me over on instagram which you definitely should then you won't have seen this pr thing the actual box and the packaging and everything is under my instagram highlights for youtube 2.0 so if you want to see it then it will be on that story highlight but i thought i'd show you the little bits that i got in that parcel because i absolutely love them this is not part of the ad or anything this is just me wanting to show you them because i'm obsessed okay so first up 
I have this little longchamp bag. How cool is this? I've seen this on TikTok a few times. It's like a crochet little longchamp bag and then it opens up and then there's like a longer handle inside. And I already have a longchamp, like the big um, like longchamp bag. I don't know what it's called. And I always have the mini little backpack. So then to have this as well to add to the collection. And also all the ones that I have are in this color. So they all match, which I absolutely love. Um, I love the fact that like there's a little trio I've got going on. And then I got a Jo Malone perfume, which I could couldn't believe i love joe malone perfume so much i've got the large like the giant bottle of the wood sage and sea salt and i'm obsessed with it and this one is the basil and neroli which smells so fresh like this is very much like a springy summer scent so it's perfect timing like this makes me want to like go to a fancy barbecue in a floaty dress or something like it just smells fresh and rich and clean and like spring like i just really really like it and then i also got this mini one as well um which is velvet rose and oud and it's a cologne intense and this is like i'm going out for dinner to an expensive restaurant in london with my expensive husband that drives a lamborghini which are vibes that i'm very much aspiring for in life so i've got the perfume i just need josh to be rich and have a lamborghini basically <laughs> if that makes sense and then in the third egg i got these i was like really confused with these at first okay because it says ray-ban on this box but i was like this is not a sunglasses case so like how is this gonna work i had to take it back this is a sunglasses case and inside are these sunglasses i am literally still mind blown over these okay i think these are so cool they are like foldable sunglasses so like they look like this okay i'm trying to like show you the best angle i think like that then they open like so and then you have these bits there that open like that are we seeing this and these are the wayfarers i'm pretty sure yeah the folding wayfarer which i think is their most popular sunglasses and these are smaller than sunglasses that i normally go for i normally go for giant over the top sunglasses but i like that these are a little bit different and i actually really like these i think they're like a nice classic like always gonna go with everything kind of sunglasses which i think is perfect and i just think it's amazing that they fold like i think that is honestly so cool and then lastly i got some little bits from chanel and this again was all part of the pr package so i got this lipstick in 317 it's got such cool packaging look at that i love that um and it's like this red lipstick which is gonna go with the joe malone perfume like you know the evening one going out for a rich dinner sort of thing and then this is like a little eye cream or something i think um it's like all in french but it's just like a little cream so that was my karma parcel which was a very like lovely surprise because i had no idea what was going to be in it until i opened it and i was obsessed then I got a couple random bits from Ikea. I literally went to Ikea not needing anything, but my mum wanted to go. And I came out with two like really random things, but I don't have any regrets. So first up, I have this photo frame. We spent at least like half an hour in the photo frame section because mum was trying to find a frame for a picture that she had and then also a picture that dad had that he wanted a frame for. So we spent so long in there to the point that I then was like, I need to buy a frame because I've been in here for so long. And I saw this one and it kind of like, grab my attention because it's such a deep frame like it's so thick and my intentions for this is to maybe put like a picture in it and then put put stuff in it but then i don't know how that's going to work because it's gonna it could fall out i don't really know how to explain it is it called a shadow box or something like a display box i'm trying to think of but i don't know what i can use to you know like it's got a film on at the moment but i'm gonna have to take the film off to put the stuff in and then do you know what i mean i don't know but this is i don't know if that makes any sense what i'm trying to do with that but like a kind of memory box of say like a picture of new york in here and then like little souvenirs along the bottom to like i don't know if that like makes sense but that's what i'm thinking and then i got this little chopping board thing this i'm thinking like a cute little picnic charcuterie board is what i'm thinking i think this is literally three pounds and i thought it was cute it's going to be nice for like product pictures um and again like i said little picnics or something nice to just like bring along and display things nicely i'm very extra like that so like this is very up my street and then i feel like if you know me well it would not be like a random haul of mine of like things i bought recently if i didn't show drinkware because i have an obsession with drinkware i'm gonna hold my hands up like the first stage to overcoming an addiction is admitting to it and accepting it and i can admit that i have an obsession i have at least 10 of the starbucks cups with the straws in because i love them i drink out of them literally every single day so like it kind of makes sense for me to have a lot of them i mean technically i could probably have two so i've got one in the wash and one on the go but i just i just love them too much and i also have an obsession with mugs like i have so many mugs it's a joke i just can't resist so 
it wouldn't be like a random haul like I said if I didn't show them so first up I got a new mug which is from Anthropology. this is super cute it's got little peaches on it and then rather than a normal handle it's got this lemon which I feel like could be slightly difficult at times to hold but it's not the biggest mug if it was a really big mug um, and it was really full it would obviously be quite heavy but I think once this is full it should still be easy to you know hold but I thought that was so cute and they did this in a few different designs like a different um patterns on them but still the same idea and this was £12 and then I got this from B&M which I'm obsessed with this was literally like £3 and they've got mugs like this not mugs cups like no not cups glasses they have glasses like this on anthropology at the moment for like £12 they have a really cute one with like a bumblebee on but this was in B&M like I said £3 I think it was and it's got lemons on it and I just loved that so much I thought it was so cute they also had strawberries as well but I wasn't feeling the strawberries one for some reason but i got the lemon one which i'm obsessed with so new mug of course like literally you have to get a new mug like every single month apparently and then i have some beauty items which i'm gonna try and like not ramble on about so first up i got some hair tools i got this which is the revlon brush if you've had tiktok you've probably seen this um my mum has this she got it like a year ago and then i got my curtain bangs cut and i was using hers literally every single day for my curtain bangs so um like a month or so ago i bought myself one and i love it if you have curtain bangs this is probably Gonna be your best friend i don't know how i would style my curtain bangs if i didn't have this because this is just a godsend i absolutely love this it gives you like a really nice bouncy blow dry at home and it's so easy to use like it's basically like a hair dryer but the brush as well so hot air comes out and then you can like you know i've definitely just messed up my hair doing that but anyway i absolutely love this and then i got this really recently this came last week and this is one of the mark hill like jumbo tong things and i got a limited edition handle basically because it's like really colorful and stuff i probably would have got like a neutral colored handle if they had them available but it was either this one or like the classic orange and pink one and i was like if i'm gonna have to get a colored handle i'm gonna get this one it's basically it's so cute actually it's got dash hounds and pugs oh my voice went there it's got dash hounds and pugs and corgis on it in um flamingo and unicorn floaties like you have on a pool don't know how well you can see that but i'm obsessed with that and then i got the extra large no it's not called extra large i think it's called a jumbo barrel or something i'll link it down below this um barrel that i got but it's basically super chunky which is what i wanted because i want to have like curls in my hair that look like i've had a bouncy blow dry but i don't like tight curls really i'm quite fussy and i tried this out this morning i mean literally all the curls have dropped out because i didn't spray them or like cool them properly i literally just kind of curled it to try it and i absolutely love it i think this is so good and then you can i don't know if you know much about the mark hill things this i find it so difficult to take it off there we go um you can take this off and then buy loads of different barrels it's called the pick and mix wand so you have like this as your base and then loads of different barrels you can buy to attach but i think i'm just going to stick with this one to be honest and then i got loads of makeup bits which i'm going to run through kind of quickly so first up i got this um this is the coco cosmetics by chloe marshmallow sponge i been wanting this for ages but it's super hard to get your hands on i think they've restocked it now so it's like pretty easy and it's basically a beauty blender kind of smells like marshmallows and it's like it's honestly so soft i've not tried it yet but i am so excited to it is honestly like oh my god it just it feels fantastic like it's so nice feeling so i've got that for like foundation and then like very similarly i got these from revolution which are marshmallow shaped beauty um sponges they're kind of the same idea but these are like nowhere near as soft these are quite dense but i thought these for like cream blush and stuff would work really well and i love these i actually kind of want to like i've got intrusive thoughts in my head making me want to bite these because these honestly look like marshmallows like can we see how cute these are like they are actually quite soft nowhere near as soft as the marshmallow one but look how cute they are like they honestly look so realistic that i really want to bite them and then from like a random beauty outlet like shop i got this and i wasn't going to show you this because i didn't think it'd be that interesting but then i tried it for the first time this morning and it is so good that i kind of i couldn't not show you so this is the packaging that it came in this little guy was sat in here in case you want to buy it this is only three pound and it's a real techniques expert air cushion sponge and basically it's like a little sponge and it's kind of got like a spring in it um, and I think you can use it for like foundation or whatever but I use this for powder and it is so 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 good I have never found something that applies powder so well so you just like put it in your powder and then I press it directly onto my face and like I feel like the best way to apply powder is to like really press it into your skin and this basically does that like oh my god it's just it's so soft as well and it like presses it in so well and for three pound I don't know if it's like more expensive on boots or whatever but for three pound from this random beauty outlet shop at like an outlet center 
I'm obsessed. And then I just got some random makeup bits. So carrying on with Revolution, I got this because I did like a um, order on Revolution because there's a few things I wanted to try. This is the Revolution, um, I don't, oh, Skin Booster, I think this is. Mine's in the shade Blaze, and this is basically a dupe of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I have just remembered. I have bought that recently, but I didn't think about it, so I've not got it here to show in the haul. But I've got, like, the cheaper version just for, like, every day, and then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury one for more like special occasions is what I was thinking and my camera is about to cut me off so just give me two seconds. This I think was like $7.99 or something, a lot cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury one and it works so nicely. It smells incredible, like it's got such a nice smell to it and you can either wear it like just on its own or you can put it underneath your foundation to give you like a nice glow kind of thing. I absolutely love that. And then carrying on with Charlotte Tilbury dupes, I got this again from Revolution. It's the Hydra Bright Cream Blush in the shade, I think it's just in the shade pink. I think that's literally just the shade um, and it's a see-through tube so that color is the color of the blush and then the applicator looks like so so if you know charlotte tilbury this is a dupe of the um beauty wand i think they're called it's a bit of a um glowy blush it's quite like um shiny in a way like you know like a highlightery blush but it is really nice so i got that and then also from revolution i got their super size conceal and define because one i needed a new concealer and two this was on sale and it's like the giant version of their concealer and it was cheaper than the smaller version on sale so i just got it and it's actually quite a good concealer i mean there's not really a whole lot to it it's just a concealer and then i did buy this little lip gloss but i can't see it. i thought i brought it here for the haul but i can't see it again it's from revolution but it's part of their dr zeus range and i just love dr zeus and like the packaging drew me into it um i'll insert a close-up but it's like a really nice pink lip gloss shade so i thought it's like a really nice colour and I loved the idea of it being Dr. Zeus like definitely fell into their marketing trap there but I'm not complaining and then I just got these makeup bits so these two are from a brand called Seventeen which is in Boots and I think this used to exist years ago and then it discontinued and then Boots brought it back and I think it's like a Boots own brand kind of thing and basically I saw a TikTok on it and people were raving about it and these are so cheap this concealer which I got in this shade to use as like a cream contour was like two pound this highlight which is like a pearly color um I got this in the shade rose I think this was four pound but if you used your boots card you got like 20% off or something and they had like um foundations um powders and everything all such a really affordable price i've not tried these yet but they've got really good reviews and then lastly for this random haul i have this which is a nyx jumbo eye pencil in the shade milk this brings me back to 2014 youtube beauty days which i never actually bought this then but basically i saw a tiktok a little while ago where someone used this for nose contour and they put it down the middle of their nose and then blended it out and because it's white it made it look I don't know it just made their nose contour look really good so i thought i would try it again i haven't tried it out yet but i think i might film like a may happy get ready with me video at some point soon like just kind of fancy doing that so if this is good it'll be featured in that and yeah that is it for this random haul i hope you enjoyed it it's a little bit long a little bit rambly but like what did we expect um yeah i'm gonna do these more often i think like every couple of months or whatever once i've accumulated some random things that don't fit into other hauls that i film um i'm gonna i'm gonna do them because i quite like showing you the random things i got like i i enjoy these kind of videos so yeah i hope you enjoyed this give a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i should see you at some point soon another one bye